I regret marrying this illiterate man. Damn. Dear Pastor, I have been reading your column for a long time and I have enjoyed your advice. I am married to a farmer. Unfortunately, he is partly illiterate. He has never been to high school. So, I handle all his bookwork. However, I have never robbed my husband. But I don't like it when I hear people saying that women should obey their men. Oh no! How can I obey this man who can only sign his name? Recently, I told my husband that he is fortunate that I have never cheated on him because I could have. We borrowed money from the bank and my husband did not even understand what the loan officer was saying. When statements come from the bank, it does not even make sense showing them to him because he cannot read them. We have two daughters and I have told them never to marry illiterate men. How dare you! Sometimes we get invited out to parties, but I am too embarrassed to take him. So, his brother goes with me sometimes, but I will not invite him again because rumor has it that his brother and I are sleeping together, which is not true. Embarrassing! <laughs> so to stop that, I will not ask his brother to accompany me anymore to any official function. My husband does not want to go back to school. Although he is illiterate, he has done very well in the business he runs and I am proud of him for that. He is always bragging about me. But deep down in my heart, I regret marrying him. Oh no! E.L. Dear E.L. I have observed that you have not written anything bad about your husband. Apart from saying that the man is illiterate, he does appear to be a good husband. Yeah? He takes good care of his household. He is even running a little business that has been successful. He has people working for him. Evidently, they love him. I know that it is embarrassing for you when you are invited out and you are ashamed to allow your husband to accompany you. So many women find it difficult to submit themselves to their husband's authority, so to speak, because they are much more educated than the men. But that is something a woman should think about before getting married. Correct! If a woman knows that a man is not very intelligent, she should not agree to marry him. If she marries him, she should revere him. That is what the Bible says, meaning she should respect him. A man might not be worthy of a woman's respect if he abuses her, but your husband is not abusing you. He is doing everything that a man should do in his house. You are wrong not to be showing him respect. He is not interested in educating himself, but I am wondering whether life would have been different if you would have played the role as teacher. Some people reading my response to you may be puzzled, but I cannot help but think that this man sees you as a princess by the love and trust he has for you. He has put everything in your hands because he trusts you, and he loves you without reservation. What more do you want from me? <laughs> it is unfortunate that you say that you regret marrying him. If you will not take this man out to the functions that you are invited to from time to time, stay home. Pasta. Well guys, Pasta is right in his response to this writer. She has a good husband, but she is not satisfied. It is sad that it seems like a woman can never be satisfied because perhaps if her husband was literate, she would have found another reason to be unhappy. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Nevertheless, I am glad that she has been faithful to this man, as she says, despite how she feels. While it is difficult to teach an old dog new tricks, it is not impossible. So, I would advise this wife to do her best to help her husband meet her required literacy level. However, she has already gotten married to him and divorcing a man because he is illiterate is not a good reason to break up an otherwise healthy and stable household. Also, I hope this woman is not messing around with another man because she knew this man was illiterate before she got married to him, so that should have been something she accepted going in. Anyway guys, please subscribe to the channel for more relationship stories like this one. Let's check out the comments. First comment comes from Vernal, wow lady.
It begs the question, what attracted you to this man and why did you marry an illiterate man and have two children for him? Orthnell Reed replied to Vernal, oh boy. This man could not have hid his illiteracy from her. She did not mind it then as she was blinded by what she could get from him. But now that she has arrived, she is now out of his league. She is now fooling herself thinking that she could do better without him. This illiterate man made this ungrateful wife. You have never cheated on him, I think you have done so in your heart and it is only a matter of time before you put those thoughts into practice. It's an evil world we live in. Teach your husband to read and be grateful for the blessings this illiterate man brings to your family. This is as I see it. Phil T. McNasty added, like you didn't know he was illiterate before you married him. I think you have acquired enough of his wealth now, so you've decided to move on. Disrespectful. Get that French toast out of here. TV Stream said, I am an accountant and I work for numerous people. And what surprises me the most is that the ones with the least education are more successful than the ones with the doctorate and the masters. I have come to one conclusion, street knowledge values the same or even more than a university degree. Captain Sparrow also added, it doesn't seem like you regret the illiterate man's money. I have a funny feeling that you fooled around with the brother. Your story is not adding up. Y you see it? Anything sweet you? When so are your ass. Blood, blood, nutty. The Bismarck also said, your belly is full so you want to bite the hands that feed you. Simple man commented, clearly, the husband loves her but she loves what the husband can do for her. Jay Jones added, this is so sad on all levels. She is proud of how well her husband has done in his business, but is embarrassed by his inability to read. You're a hypocrite of such stupendous dimension that it is impossible to comprehend. Damn! And here you are with all your education, yet your husband who cannot read is more successful than you. Just goes to show you being educated does not mean intelligent, stupidity has no boundaries. And he's out of line, but he's right. And the last comment comes from Mike B. Wow. Lady, you are not a good person. Truthfully, you do not deserve that man. You are embarrassed that he cannot read, but you have no objections taking his money from his successful business. You are not a good person. You don't deserve that man. I think your motivation to marry him was because he is doing well in his business. That is a shame. When successful men take on a less educated or less successful women, they usually try to build them up rather than tear them down. You should be ashamed of yourself for not loving or respecting the man enough to teach him to read. Note, he does not necessarily have to go back to school to learn to read. He simply needs a good person in his life who will help him rather than judge him. You are not that person. You should be ashamed of yourself. You are not a good woman. Them girl ya wicked, them wicked, them wicked I don't know how them so wicked Why them so wicked But I know so them girl ya wicked shiny be Well guys, it seems like everyone agrees that this wife is ungrateful because despite having a loving and responsible husband, she is unsatisfied. While it is understandable to have concerns about your husband's education level, it's also important to appreciate his strengths and the success he's achieved despite his limitations. Instead of focusing solely on regrets, consider ways to support him in areas where he might want to improve, without undermining his confidence or achievements. It's possible to find a balance between encouraging personal growth and appreciating the qualities that attracted you to him in the first place. But guys, what do you think? Is the wife ungrateful or her regret being married to her husband is justified? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section and remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you do not miss another upload from the channel. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, love.